So you want to start using torrents. Well, it's not all that hard. I'm going to show you how. It's very simple and you'll probably be up and running in five minutes. So, first, what is the torrent? What's a torrent? A torrent is a file that tells you all of these people have this file that you want and they're all willing to share with you. And in torrents, those people are called seeds. They're seeds and peers. Seeds are people that have the complete file, 100% completed, and they're now uploading to you, to everybody else in the world. S peers are people that have that are downloading it at the moment, but don't have all of it. So they're sharing what they have at the moment. And that's basically how it works. So the more people there are, even if everybody's only uploading at a fraction of their speed, all of those little bits at a time end up being a lot. And so you can get incredible speeds with torrents. So first thing you're going to want to do is download a client which lets you download these torrent files and connect to all these other people in the world. One of the best, in my opinion, is uTorrent or MicroTorrent, depending on the character. And uh, this torrent program is incredibly small, less than a meg, and it's simple. It doesn't have a lot of junk on it, it just works. So you're going to want to go to the internet, and uh, if you want, you can type in uTorrent in Google and they have uTorrent.com so you go there download it uh, you're gonna wanna pick the stable version it's fine it's gonna download you save the file and then you're gonna wanna run it and there it's already installed and ready to go. So now you've got this program. Now you need a torrent. Oh no, first we have to configure this. Setup guide. Okay, so when you first install the program, this is what's going to come up. This bandwidth thing is new, but your upload speed. You need to know your upload speed, depending on your connection. I have a 1 megabit, so I would pick that. And these are the configurations it puts in. This is your upload speed. Uh, how many slots, so how many other people can up can download from you. Uh, how many connections per torrent, so how many people can connect to the torrent file. Uh, overall, in total, is how many connections, max torrents that are downloading, uploading at a time and uh, the most downloads so you're gonna want to pick this pick a port uh... maybe run some tests doesn't really matter you save and uh... me i don't like uploading all the way because it, it'll just clog up my entire network i usually for this connection uh... about twenty upload if you go too low it doesn't say it anywhere, but the torrents don't download as fast. That's what it is about torrents. You have to share. You can't be greedy. You have to share. So having a, a decent upload speed allows you to download at your full potential. Now, these numbers here, you may want to tweak, but you don't have to. Don't put it too high to have all these connections in because your network will get clogged up and that and then you'll get even slower connections. So when people say speed techniques on speeding up your uTorrent, make sure you have the proper amount of connections that your bandwidth can handle and that will allow you to have the most speed. These settings work fine for a uh, a 14 meg line with up 1 meg upload. I have seen my max download with the torrents. It is amazing. And something else you're going to want to do is protocol encryption. Depending on if you want your ISP and other people from the internet to know what you're downloading, you're going to want to encrypt your uh, uTorrent connections. By default, it's at disabled. 
and you're gonna want enabled force the will probably slow down your downloads and something else if you want to access your uTorrent on your computer from somewhere else on the network then there's a what's called a, a web user interface so you click this checkbox and enable it put in a, a username a password and uh, what you're gonna want to memorize is uh, your port right here is 9001 so okay so we know the port for the web UI so we're gonna download a torrent so this comes up with a list of torrents and what you're gonna want to do is click on seeds because the most seeds, the faster you download. So what you can do is you can click on this download torrent. It will download the torrent file to be run through uTorrent. Or you can click on the name, the page for this file. And there's going to be a, sometimes an in-depth description. It can be comments on the quality and the le how legit the file is. And then you can download the torrent. So you're going to download the torrent file will download and then you run it and it's associated with uTorrent and these are all the different files you can select none and I want this one this one and this one that's all I want I don't want this NFO file you could do it that way or you can select them all or just the one file it doesn't really matter except for when you're going to be uploading you're only uploading what you actually have so then you click OK and it'll queue it up and it's starting to download now let's let's say you want to do this from another computer in your house what you're going to do is type in http colon slash slash the IP address of the computer with the uTorrent Uh, colon put in the port number slash GUI whoops oh I don't have it enabled that's why here I'll go to my other one and it'll prompt you for your username and password you log in and then what you do is you right right click the download link and uh, copy the link address go to uTorrent up here it's add torrent right uh, click here you paste your uh, the link and you click OK and then it should pop up right here and now it's downloading oh. and now it's downloading and you're from uh, another computer the network and it's downloading on your computer that has the uTorrent installed and that's how you do the web UI the encryption you start with the torrents and now once it's done downloading it will save it here this is where you can find it so me it's on my D drive the torrents folder I made it a, a folder for incomplete so that if it doesn't complete this is where it will sit once it's done it will go somewhere else here I'll show you how to do that preferences and directories so when I first put in a torrent it will go right here to a folder on my D drive and once it's done I move it somewhere else so that this folder is only complete downloads and uh, in the past I would save the dot torrent files just in case I, I wanted to go back and re-download it without having to look it up <coughs> on the internet 
so you can store all the files in there even you can have the finished torrents here and the uh, unfinished torrents somewhere else so it's an amazing program it's the best I use it all the time and it's very easy and simple once you get to know it so good luck and uh, be good